Inverted horses are those that always go with their heads up and pulling the reins every time you want to give an order with them. Many people try to lower the horse's face by pulling hard on the reins and this is something that we will never achieve since by force the horse beats us, the more you pull on the reins the more the horse will pull by raising its head and stiffening. It is also a mistake to pull hard on a rein without using the legs, because the only thing we achieve is that the horse turns its head and stiffens and in this way we will not be able to relax and lower it. Here we have Sparky a horse constantly fighting the bit, lifting his face and constantly fighting the rider. With good technique and patience he managed from an inverted horse to a round horse and leaning on the bit. When he came into my hands that horse was ridden with a perm and I changed him and put a three-piece stake on him. If you don't have technique, changing the iron is useless. Here we have a horse that always goes with its head up and in this way arches its spine, causing chronic pain in the back over time. Normally this type of horse is deaf to the legs so the first thing to do is push the horse to activate the hind legs. If we don't push the horse with our legs, we will never get it to lower its head. If we don't use our legs when we try to lower their face, they will block and stop or they will raise it even more. It is normal for the horse to raise its face at first and pull you with the reins. For the horse to work with its face down is more effort for it and it is normal for it to protest with its head up. Even so, you have to keep the outer rein firmly held so that your hand does not get ahead of you. With the inner hand, we will lower the hand to the height of the knee, and with this position, we will pull said rein so that the horse begins to bow your body into the circle. It is very important to keep the inside leg well placed and with pressure so that the horse does not close the circle. The outside leg is the one that will be in charge of pushing so that the horse works with its feet. If when the horse protests by raising its face, we do not relinquish the position of the reins, that is, we keep them tightly grasped without putting our hand forward, there will come a time when the horse gives in by lowering its face a little. You have to be very attentive to this moment, since it is the key to the exercise. When the horse lowers its face a little and stops pulling on the reins, it is when we also have to give up a little of the inner rein to make the horse see that this is what you want. Giving up the inside rein means softening the hand a few centimeters forward and continuing to push the horse with our legs. When the horse has already lowered its head a little, you have to continue playing with the inside rein, pulling and releasing so that it lowers its face more. If we hold the outer rein well and play with the inner one, there will come a time when the horse lowers its face completely and that is when we will notice that it becomes easy in the hand, without pulling and pleasant. When this happens, don't forget to continue pushing the horse with your legs, if this impulse disappears, the face will go back up. You have to continue playing with the outside rein with less intensity, to prevent it from raising its head again. These horses, when we loosen up a bit and stop pushing, raise their heads again, and we have to repeat the process. If the horse begins to trot, that means that we cannot hold the outer rein enough, since this is in charge of moderating the speed of the horse. A mistake that we make a lot to be able to do more strength is to raise the hand so you always have to think that the hand has to be on the knee and open to give space to the horse's neck. The outside hand also has to be low and firm, the inside leg has to exert a lot of pressure so that the horse has a point of support to arch its spine and not close the circle. If there is not enough inside leg and we do not hold the outside rein enough, the only thing we will achieve is to turn the neck, but without arching the spine to the inside, and thus we will not be able to lower the head. When we see that in circles, the horse is already keeping its head down, then it is time to try to put it in a straight line. This is going to be more difficult for us, so we have to lead the horse in a straight line, but with the head slightly tilted to one side, in this way we will keep the spine arched inwards. If the head is completely straight, it is easier for the horse to stiffen again and lose the curvature of the spine. So we have to practice the same thing that we have done in a circle, but with the horse advancing in a straight line, we can play by turning the face to one side and the other, always changing the position and pressure of the legs and hands depending on which way you turn your head. There will come a time when the horse will understand it and it will be faster and easier for us to lower its head. These images are from the second day and here you have the result you can see that the face is lower and it does not fight so much with the hand, it must be taken into account that neither spurs nor stick arrive to make the horse go with active feet. With technique and patience, it is possible to get a horse that is used to going with its head up, to work correctly with its head down without the need for auxiliary ropes or very severe breaks in the horse's mouth, and here I have shown it to you. All horses can go with their heads down, you just need technique and knowing how to apply it at the right time and that is what I have explained in this video. You can see that the horse, even in a straight line, also goes round, 
It has worked in both directions and more or less both, it goes quite well. To achieve this, you have to be constantly riding and not abandon it and play with the reins with each stride the horse takes. In just two days, we have gone from a horse with a hard mouth and pulling the reins to a horse that allows itself to be ridden with a soft and pleasant contact with the reins. If you want to continue learning with me, you simply have to subscribe, like it and don't forget to activate the bell so that you receive notifications when I add a new video, I will be adding more videos in English. See you soon.